so let's use Kramer's rule to solve this 3 by 3 system of equations. So say I give you x plus y plus z is equal to 6 as the first equation. 2x minus y plus z is equal to 3 as the second equation. And then x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to negative 4. And that's the third equation. So now, remember Kramer's rule, the solutions are given by x is equal to dx over d, y is dy over d, and z is dz over d. And now, so let, let's, um, let's find all of these determinants. So let's start with d. Now the way we do d is that d is the, is the 3 by 3 determinant uh, composed of all the coefficients of x, y, and z. So for example, the first row is going to be the coefficients in x, so it's going to be 1, 2, 1. The second row is going to be the coefficients in y, 1, negative 1, 2. And the, co the, last row, the last column, excuse me, is going to be the coefficients in z. So 1, 1, and negative 3. And now we just solve. So I'm going to use expansion of minors to solve all of these determinants, or uh, cofactor expansion, I believe it's also called. So what we do is we write first the three terms. By the way, I'm expanding across the first row here. Um, usually you pick the row with the smallest numbers, and I also like picking rows that don't have any negative, rows or columns, sorry that don't have any negative numbers, um, since it, since we're going to be alternating sides at some point, it's a little bit easier to deal with. So now we write, um, the next to the element, we're going to write the 2 by 2 minor. And re let's recall what a minor is, is um, the 2 by 2 determinant that's left over when you get rid of the row and the column that the minor belongs to. So for example, if we have, we're looking for the minor of the first element, what we do is get rid of the row and the column, and we write what's left over. So we have negative 1, 2, 1, negative 3. Right? So let's get rid of all those red before we continue. So thus, the minor of the second element is going to be 2, 1, 1, negative 3. And then the minor of the last element is going to be 2, 1, negative 1, 2. And then finally we connect them using the sign array. And let me make a little note here in green that the way you do the sign array is you start with a plus on the top left corner and then you alternate going across the row and down the column and then you just keep alternating. So given that in mind and knowing that we're expanding across the first row, we know that our signs are going to be plus, minus, plus. So, great. So now let's just do this. So this is going to be 1 times the determinant of this 2 by 2, which, you know, you cross multiply and then take the difference. So negative 1 times negative 3 is 3, minus 2. And then we have minus 1 times negative 6, minus 1. And then 1 times 4, minus negative 1. So simplifying, 3 minus 2 is 1 times 1 is 1, then this becomes minus negative 6 minus 1, which is negative 7, and then finally, here um, we're going to get 4 minus negative 1, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5. So we have 1 plus 7 is equal to 5, so we have 13. So our D is equal to 13. make it in blue so that we can keep track because we're going to have to do this three more times. We want to make sure we keep track of what we're doing. So we found d. Now let's find dx. Now the way you write down dx is that it's a 3 by 3 determinant except this time you replace the x coefficients with the constant terms. So instead of 1, 2, 1 for the first column we're going to have 6, 3, and negative 4. And then you write down the coefficients in y. Um, as the second column, so oops, this becomes 1, minus 1, 2, and then 1, 1, negative 3 is the last column. So um, let's do expansion by minors again. I'm going to pick the first row, 
again uh, because there are no negative numbers. Uh, but, you know, expansion of minors or, or cofactor expansion, as it's sometimes called, you can pick any row you want. Um, you don't have to be constricted to the first row, or or you can also pick any column you want. So we're going to write the, the element along with its minor, so 6, negative 1, 2, 1, negative 3. Then we know, since the signs alternate, the second term is going to be subtracted. So 1 times 3, negative 4. 1, negative 3, and then finally plus 1 times its minor, 3, negative 4, negative 1, 2. Great. So now let's solve. So this becomes 6 times the determinant of this 2 by 2, which is 3 minus 2, then minus 1 times negative 9 minus negative 4, plus 1 times 6 minus 4. So this becomes 6 times 1 minus 1 times negative 9 plus 5. That's negative 5. Plus 1 times 6 minus 4, which is 2. So simplifying, we have 6 plus 5 plus 2. That's 11 plus 2. That's 13. Great. So now we have our dx, which is equal to 13 as well. So now we find dy. And similar to dx, dy is the 3 by 3 coefficient of, of uh, the 3 by 3 determinant of coefficients, except this time we replace the y coefficients with the constant terms. So it's going to be 1, 2, 1 as the first column. Then the second column is going to be 6, 3, negative 4. And then finally, the last column stays the same. So let's do expansion by minors again. And this time I want to expand across the first column um, since the numbers are smaller and they're all positive. So. We're going to write 1 with its minor, so 3, negative 4, 1, negative 3, minus 2 times its minor, 6, 1, negative 4, negative 3, and then finally, 1 times its, the last 1 times its minor, so 6, 3, 1, 1. And I made it plus minus plus because if you look up at the sign array here, if you go down the column, it's the same thing as going across the row of the first row. So simplifying, we get 1 times negative 9 minus negative 4 minus 2 times negative 18 minus negative 4 and then plus 1 times 6 minus 3. Here we get 9 minus negative 4 which is going to give us negative 5 minus 2 times negative 18 plus 4 which is negative 14 and then finally 6 minus 3 which is 3. So we have minus 5 minus 2 times negative 14 so that's plus 28 and then plus 3 um, so that simplifies to 26 right? Yes. So now we have dy, which is 26. So now let's finally do dc, dz, so we can we can be done. So dz again, you do. Let's go all the way up. So you write the coefficients of x and y, but this time you replace the coefficients of z with the constant terms. So let's go all the way back down. The coefficients of x are 1, 2, 1. The coefficients of y are 1, negative 1. 2, and then we replace the coefficients of z with 6, 3, negative 4. So now let's do expansion of minors. Uh, this time again I'm going to do the first column because um, it looks the, the, like the most fun, I guess, the easiest. So we write the minor, along, the element along with its minor, so negative 1, 2, 3, negative 4, minus 2, times 1, 2, 6, negative 4, 
and then finally plus one times one, one, six. Great. So now let's solve. Um, this becomes one times four minus six minus two times negative four minus twelve, which is six times two. And then finally one times three minus negative six. So four minus six is negative two times one is negative two. Then we have minus two times negative four minus twelve, which is negative sixteen. And then finally we have three minus negative six, that's nine. And times one is just nine. So let's simplify further. We have negative 2 minus 2 times negative 16. That's going to give us plus 32. Plus 9. So here we should be getting 39, right? Yeah. 39 sounds good. So now we have dz. And so we've computed all of our determinants. And we should be very proud of ourselves because it was a lot of work. So now we finally solve. So we get x is dx over d. So let's go all the way back up and remember what dx and d were. Well, d was 13 and dx was 13. So we got 13 over 13, which simplifies to 1. Then y, which is dy over d. Well, d is 13. We already know that. And what's dy again? dy is 26. So we have 26 over 13, which simplifies to 2. And then finally we have z, which is dz over d. So d is 13, and dz we found to be 39. And 39 divided by 13 is 3. So we, after all this work, we finally got our solution. So the solution of the system, and remember we, we always write it in terms of the ordered triple x comma y comma z. So the solution of the system in this case is going to be 1 comma 2 comma 3.